Lord. <laughs> I'm looking at your tapestry. I didn't really get to see much of what was behind you before. I like that. That's pretty. Is that here. a crystal? Where? Is that Over a here? crystal? Yep. This oh, is my mama jamma. That is a giant one. Oh, wow. Look at all the inclusions. It's like riddled. Riddled? Riddled? That is awesome. Love it. My favorites. Oh, yeah, I can say it better now. Oh. Oh. This is a, bread, a bed spread that I was going to do the guest room in, and but then uh, we put it on this deal, like one of those like rolling, um, rolling racks, you know, like the hanging racks, mm -hmm. because otherwise you just see my, you see my ugly room, you see Ooh. my bed over there. Ooh, your room is giant. It's a big room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big room. I see a cattail. Cattail? Is it still attached? Yep. Or is that like a tool? <laughs> ah, that's Katie. She's trying to figure out what the heck she, what I'm doing here. She, she came all the way upstairs. You know what? No joke. Okay, so I got this book that um, my friend April was uh, reading and using. I found it on Amazon for like two bucks. So I got all excited about it. Oh, sorry, that's too bright. Oh, turn that off. Um... <laughs> And I'm like, whew. I'm like a vampire when it comes to light. I'm like, no. Yeah, I got all this nice um, light coming in right now, and I'm not happy, but what are you going to do? Well, I had the book on the table downstairs, and no, um, I turned the page to go look at something else, and then I come back, and my cat is reading the book. So I turned the page for her, and she's she leans in, and again... And then, like, so every so often, I'll get a meow, and I'm like, "You need me to turn the page." So I go over and I turn the page for her. She sits there and reads it. What? What? Did, what chapter was she on? Like, what was it that she was reading? She was reading about um, milk thistle, and I think it was mother's wood, mother's wort, mother's wort, not mugwort, mother's wort. It's like this really cool book. You said when you said milk thistle, that kind of yeah. gave me goosebumps because. Yesterday, um, last night, me and my husband went to Walmart. It was like 9.30. And they had a just a random pill bottle of milk thistle in the bubble gum at the, at the register. And I looked at that like, wow, they just sell everything here. Is that something? That's weird. It is. I didn't get to pick any this year because we didn't hardly have anything worth picking. Because mm -hmm. usually we go and when they get really tall and dangerous where they cut you to pieces to get them is when I send my husband to get them. And yeah. there just wasn't none worth picking this year at all. I, I got some. Some of them are, like, really teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just, like, the, the size of my nail. They're, like, little. Oh, so, um, I still took them. I still took them and tried them out. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. She's, she coming back? We're not ad person? Yeah. She says she's ready now. Okay. And bite. Look, I did it. With the supervision oh, of my son. <laughs> Did it do it? Yeah, she'll be here in a second. Oh, okay. After she answers. These are Trina's boards right here that she made. Ah, those are beautiful. And then there's another those are one up there. Yeah. She is. She's in. Oh, I'm She's in. Oh, I saw her. the same shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear Carson. Trina's back. <laughs> 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 oh, what she doing? Gosh. But y'all can say hi to my friend. Can say hi. It's Sunshine and Raven. I, You're gonna meet them soon. I, oh, that was, now Raven sideways. Sideways. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. It's Junior's boyfriend. Y'all haven't met him yet. Sunshine is there somewhere. She's missing. Her video's not on. Why is it not showing my picture? Is your video turned on? Probably not. <laughs> this is retrograde at its... I feel like I need to get my other tablet out and record this. this is retrograde oh! could have to do with what's going on with your car, too. I want instructions. Isn't her arm awesome? Hey, hey. Need instructions. No. <laughs> I get near my freaking camera it, or my phone, it goes nuts and it will. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, media. <laughs> no, uh, no. 
Call my ringtone. You see this doll? Fuck. Yeah. One day she heard like a bang or something, and this whole curtain right here is a stick, like what I have the herbs hanging on. This whole thing had fallen, and he was sitting on top of it. Oh. Like when it fell, it should have fell over him. Yeah. But he was sitting on top of it. Oh, we're talking about Charlie, aren't we? See, I can barely <laughs> hear you guys. Hello! Hello! <laughs> hey, Raven, are we coming in clear that on your side? That did pop a whole lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer Tommy because he got drunk. I don't, I don't know. When I was Junior, what is wrong with my phone? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm asking. Hold on. Hey, Raven. There it is! I got it! Okay! Oh my god. Did it work? I heard somebody call my name. What's up? Um, are we coming in loud and clear for you? Or is it a little bit muffled? No, you're fine. I okay. can hear y'all. Okay. Um, son of a mutt rucker. I got it. It works now. Oh, you're so smart, Trina. No, I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I hit, but it works now. Well, that's, all, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. <laughs> you know what, Yvonne? Yeah. I need another one of these. <laughs> another one of what? Oh, 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 yeah, okay. I'm actually making candles right now. I've got my whole okay. house smells like orange spice. I'm doing like orange clove. Are we good? And then um, yeah, on the so base of I'm each, like I'm doing tea lights. I didn't do votives on these ones, but I did oh, the jar candles as well. Right I took there. cloves and put them on the bottom. And then like a little piece of citrine, you know, a little chip of citrine in there as well for the candle energy. So orange spice is coming at you. Yeah, I just, this stuff is awesome. Thank you. I haven't finished. The I've already burnt my nose made. hairs twice. Don't don't sniff it. <laughs> don't sniff it like that. And that's why. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh my god. What what happened? Okay, so I need to get into a drawer and I move a couple of things. And the other day, Heather brought me something at work, which really shocked me, but she brought me this. And it was sitting there, and when I moved stuff, it fluttered and scared the shit out of me. Oh, it wasn't Ooh. dead yet. They are covered in my, in my yard. I have dragonflies. Remember this time last year, Trina? I was trying to figure out, like, some kind of symbology to them or something, and... You know, I never really found anything that made any sense that went with what was going on in my world. But they're back again this year. I mean, my yard looks like like this high, but my grass is covered in dragonflies at any time. Are they like that? Are they dead? Alive, alive or alive. dead dragonflies? They're alive, alive. and they'll, they'll fly up to your face and look at you and then fly away. Whoa! <laughs> is it just your yard or is it like neighborhood wide? It's on my yard completely and a piece of the neighbor's yard, which is still a couple feet of my yard. Hold on, I have to adjust. <laughs> wow, I only thought men did that. <laughs> you don't know what I got under here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's work. I'm not well, being rude and texting someone else. <laughs> okay, uh, I just have to tell you right now that Charlie has already turned his head since we've been talking. Okay, he is no longer looking at us like he was a minute ago. And I have it on video now because we've been recording this whole time. Yeah, I got some really good bloopers out of this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remy, Remy will have absolutely nothing to do with him anymore. As a matter of fact, Remy used to lay, like the dogs used to lay like right underneath the chair or on the blanket next to me. Now, here, let me see if I can, if you can see him. Let's see. Do you see how far away from me he is now? Also, oh, yeah. Gabby's playing. That might be what Charlie's looking at. I, oh, I don't know, but I know Remy doesn't want to be close to him anymore. He will not lay on this side of the room anymore, ever. It's getting Ziggy. mischievous. Sorry. The dogs don't want no part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all ready to get the party started? Which we're still going to be talking like we were, but we just kind of have to do a, like an intro like, hi, we're here. Hey, sure. 
<laughs> okay. So. Hi, guys. This is Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm here with a couple of friends. And we are, y'all can introduce yourselves like they already know you anyway. Sunshine Morning Ray. Good to see y'all. Raven Flower was the power. <laughs> <laughs> We're just here today just to kind of hang out and like uh, just share a couple of witchy tips and discussions and, you know, just some witch talk. Witch talk. Yeah, witch talk. And you know what? I was thinking before we did this, I was going to make a list of some of the questions that I've been asked recently. And did I do it? Mm. Yeah. I have my book. Like, I never have my book and I have my book today. <laughs> Go get your book. It's right here. This is an opportunity to address some questions that we've had in the past that require a little bit more lengthy of a response other than just a text message or, you know, a Facebook response. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a book here, but I want to share an experience I had before we do that. Okay, cool. With uh, my money altar, and I will insert a picture sometime after I'm done talking in this video of my money altar because it's grown since the last time I showed it in a video. Um, but I've been kind of trying to figure out if I really want to do this physical shop thing. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trying to decide if I want to wait until my youngest starts middle school or, you know, I'm just trying to figure it out because the online shop is actually doing really well. And I was thinking it would do better if I just got out of Etsy and did my own page, you know, and go from there, which was already in the works at one point. So, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, you know, this is things that I'm contemplating about, right? Pulling cards, trying to get some advice from here and there. And anybody who has ever watched my channel knows that I work with frogs. I love frogs. And I always use it in money, magics, bills, and that sort yep. of things. And my altar's covered in frogs. All kinds of yep. frogs. I've had people gift me frogs, bought frogs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm trying to make this a short story, but <laughs> I have to get to the point, you know, before I get there. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. I have the most awesome husband in the world. He just came back and he brought my favorite sunflower seeds. Ooh. And my favorite drink. Wow. Somebody, hey, where's mine? Hey, somebody's getting what laid. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, sorry. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> so, Thursday nights, I always do like this huge clean where I move the furniture. I clean every day. You know that. But I move all the furniture to get all the dog hair out and mop. Okay? I clean underneath the altar and everything Thursday night. Friday morning, I'm in my makeup room, which is right around the corner down the hall from my altar. There is a live frog hopping down the hallway to my room where I'm at. Hi. That's crazy. Yeah, it's not hurt or anything. And my husband's like, it came out from the altar. I said, it couldn't come out from the altar space oh. because I just cleaned under there. There was nothing there. And I said, and, and it wasn't hurt in no way. So, like, the animals didn't bring it in. Plus, it was morning. The dogs at nighttime when we go to bed, they get locked in the main living room. That's where all the dogs go because they don't let me sleep. So, all the dogs are locked up and they haven't gotten let out yet because I was still up in the morning doing my thing and he, this frog is jumping down the hall and I tell him to catch it real quick before we let the dogs out and we put it up in the front yard and let it go and we checked it over and he wasn't hurt in any way so I don't know how he got in I don't leave the doors open it's too damn hot <laughs> when did this happen Friday morning yes so it's been two days Two days. Has anything prosperous happened since then? Um, we sat down and actually got a better idea of our finances, of what, of how much money we should have and how much spending that we have been doing with nothing really coming out of that spending. Like the outlook on how much money we should have in the bank at the end of the month now is so much more than I thought we should have. So, Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, and that that's what that was adding in. Live financial awareness. Yeah, that's exactly. It was so intense and so amazing, and I was so happy, and I'm like, and my husband, he was like, okay, that was weird, but I can't <laughs> deny that it came out from under your altar because that's where I was standing, and it came from there, and then here's the best part. 
I have two sets of frogs. You've seen them, Trina. And they have um, huh? female and male parts on them. Yeah. And I have two couples that I have on my altar. Two are sitting, the one boy and one girl sitting around the um, Rose of Jericho. And the other boy and girl's facing the door. The female's missing. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, well, of course she's gone. You just put her out in your front yard. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, she's gone. And I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a picture here so you can see. And um, she was sitting next to, because I'm gonna put two pictures: one of the whole altar and one of a close up of where she was sitting. Her man is still sitting there. It's the green, because in that spot I have a a toad and a beige frog and the green one. The male is still there, but the female's gone. She's gone. Huh. Yep. That's so awesome. But I mean, I've been doing that a lot awesome. of like deciding what I want to do. And you know, we're refinancing our house because the payment had gotten too high. And I'm debating about switching jobs and just all this stuff is going on this week. And then Friday morning, that's what went down. Our, our refinance went through. Oh, that is so awesome. They're talking yes. about the 24th for me. I'm so happy for you. I, I'm so to, and and you should. I, we really shouldn't be trying to manipulate any type of, you know, refinancing or money management or really anything right now because of Mercury in retrograde. But fortunately, because the bank system takes so long to process something, way prior to this, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it finished now, so yes. I'm not going to complain. I'm not. I'm not going to bite the hand so <laughs> yes yeah see we started ours back at the end of june so it's just taking yeah. forever it does yeah it's yeah. for freaking ever yeah yep. which is funny because we've only been in this house for a few years and i was down to i guess oh and 27 more years right <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> after this after this refinancing is done my mortgage is going down by almost four hundred dollars and my house is going to be paid off in 25 years Oh, yeah. Our, ours went down a hundred dollar, about a hundred dollars a month, and instead of a twenty-seven, thirty-year note, it went down to an eleven-year note. Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Years. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Did you have a frog jump through your house too? Um, no, I didn't have a frog come through my house. But you know what? Remy has had this one outside pin. In, in this drain tube that we have, and that's his, like, escape from Remy because the minute Remy goes outside, he heads directly for that, trying to get to it. Uh -huh. I'm trying to rescue it. I think I think that it finally made itself, you know, went away when we started having all those really bad rains, which I think the last one was a couple of days ago. Oh. So, yeah, the frogs have been prevalent over here, too. <laughs> frogs are good yeah, news. Frogs. Very good yeah. news. And I know they freak some people out. But, I think you they're know, adorable. You don't have to go out and kiss them. I think they're cute. Well, I think they're cute. I think they're cute, too. They're cute. My, my sister is deathly afraid of frogs, snakes, really? bugs, butterflies. Freak her out. <laughs> wow. I told her she's not human. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. She's not normal. Okay, I can't see anybody anymore. Can anybody see me? I see you. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Okay, yeah, you're there. You're you're being recorded. Now you're looking right. toward your left. You can see me. You can see me picking my nose right now. Well, on the exterior, you're not going to get much done there. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I didn't put it in. I didn't put it all this on the outside. <laughs> I'm okay, like, so Tequila, did you get your book? I have it here. We were just talking, so apologize. Okay. Um, apologize. No. <laughs> apologize, but I thought. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Did I just sound impatient as hell there? A little bit. Uh, you you know the um, one thing that people have bugged the crap out of us about. I don't want to say bug the crap, but yeah, bug the crap out of us about because we mentioned it or I mentioned it was um, working with Medusa. Like, they uh -huh. are curious about, you know, yeah. About Medusa energies? I just saw something on Facebook. Somebody posted, like, the story of Medusa. Um, I think she's kind of badass. I yeah. haven't worked with her before, but I need to know. I need to learn more. So, let, let, let's talk about that. 
Well, we can start with, first of all, Medusa did not start out as a Greek mythological creature, as everybody seems to think. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. She actually started out, I believe it was in uh, Egyptian, no, back in Africa. Um, and I can't remember exactly what her name was. She was transferred then to a goddess in Egyptian time called Ma'at. Um, <gasps> oh my God, I totally love some Ma'at. <laughs> Justice, I'm like, oh, I got just so excited. Okay, all right, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> Go on, keep going. See? But then she was, she was, because for those of you who have done any type of history research, you know how the, um, the Greeks and the Romans were entangled with the Egyptians quite a bit. Yes, yes. Uh, anybody who's seen the movie Cleopatra can get some type of a hint if you don't want to go do any researching. So the, the Greek um, took on Medusa and put her in the place of um, not necessarily a, a, a good deity or a good gorgon and when i say gorgon uh, a gorgon is not necessarily a deity um but they have deity traits or a goddess trait Hmm. Uh, she she was tricked into doing something that um shouldn't have happened and the other female got extremely jealous of this and cursed her because of what happened, because of her beauty, and because she had something to do with another male that she was shouldn't have done it with, <laughs> cursed her to the looks that she has, and that should anyone look upon her, that they would turn to stone. So she would um, serve the rest of her times, basically, forever. Eternal loneliness. Now, what people don't seem to stop and think about is... First of all, she started out as um, this incredibly strong and incredibly beautiful being, okay? Um, And to me, I think it does her wrong when you see these uh, portrayals of her looking like a um, a troll with snakes coming out of her head. Mm -hmm. Um, She's actually very seductive, very beautiful, and very very willing to help a person to uh, attraction, love, um, uh, seeing your inner beauty uh, in those forms. So uh, the fact that I primarily work with Hecate, you have to understand that because Medusa is a Gorgon, she's not necessarily a goddess, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. I have a problem with this because my my dominant uh, certitude and 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 hailing to goes to Hecate. I show Medusa thanks and her offerings, and it kind of between Hecate and Medusa, I have a cohesive workness. Um, and the reason that I say this is because I know that there are and. Of them that works with more than one deity in the feminine, mm-hmm. and you're able to get them to be cohesive, to 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 celebrate, you know, and not have a problem with them clashing. Gotcha. I've never been able to do that. Okay, um, <laughs> I've just I've I've never tried. I just have never done that. So in working with Medusa, I'm not. I'm not putting another goddess at Hecate's level, basically. Yeah, you're so. not stepping on any toes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tequila, what's your take on it? Well, that was an education course. You didn't explain how you work on her. Work, work with her. <laughs> we appreciate the Discovery Channel information, though. <laughs> <laughs> that. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you're working with Medusa, a good way to work with her, of course, you have, uh, you want to incorporate things that are precious to her. And although uh, the curse of the serpent hair 
was given to her. She has taken it on full blown and she has made it her own. So, of course, in anything that you want to use when you want to uh, do a casting and you want to incorporate, incorporate Medusa, you want to try to include things that you know that she would appreciate, like okay. snakeskin. Mm, okay. 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 Now, um, this, this goes to, uh, you know, Tequila says this all the time. Oh, shit. What do I say? Make, make the spell your own. Do what works for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because it's written in a book that snakeskin is for cursing oh, come does on. not necessarily mean that snakeskin is the only thing that you can use it in, okay? Mm -hmm. Isn't it also for, like, transformation and like, renewal? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look at unfortunately... Her. Uh, well, but you have books out there that specifically will say, okay, and if you're going to use snakeskin, that's only for, mm -hmm. I don't know, trying to kill somebody. Let me tell you, so. <laughs> I have used snakeskin and I've worked with Medusa when my aunt, and this was probably 10 years ago, um, she had breast cancer. She lost both of her breasts. She chose not to have surgery to put in fake breast, you know, she's, you know, these are my scars, this is what I'm going through, this is my thing, and I work with Medusa to send every kind of energy to her, and in the oil that I used in the spell was um, snakeskin, and the reason I used it is because I felt like it was a shed, and she was feeling really low at first, even though she chose right away not to have breast implants, mm -hmm. but then later on, she, it just became like, she was just so strong for so long. After that, like she was proud. Self, we got to see these scars more times than we wanted to, you know? And, yep. you know, that's not a curse. <laughs> and no, that was not. one way that we worked with her, but this was a long time ago. I'm thinking it might have been more than 10 years ago. I can't think of when that happened. No, we were in the other house. It's been about 10 years. Yeah. Well, well, think about it. I mean, she was feeling insecure. You know, mm -hmm. a woman's breasts are what. A lot of women view as what makes us part of what makes us feminine. Yeah. And to lose those can be, you feel disfigured. Yeah. yeah. You just, you, it, it can be devastating. So I would imagine that you would have a feeling of, of you know, low self-esteem and just, uh, yeah. you're mourning the loss of something that was you. So... Mm -hmm. In, in invoking Medusa in this and doing that oil, you were instilling in that oil self-love, mm -hmm. self-healing. And it sounds to me like it, it, oh, it, it definitely did its job. It, it did its job. When she first got out of the hospital before I really started any workings, she showed me her scars. And the that I did, I felt so bad because it was bad looking. It was really bad. They were fresh. You know, so it was very scary for me because she was always one of the stronger aunts of the whole family. You know, like she was one that they would refer to as a mean one because she was always very stern and confident and businesswoman and just, you know, do what you do kind of a woman. And to see that, it just it kind of terrified me. And, and then I felt the, you know, back from her, like she saw the look that I gave and then I felt bad. and I was like, oh, my God. And then I, later on, I was like, okay, we got it. Because her husband is not exactly the nicest person in the world, so I'm sure he wasn't going to be all, honey, oh, it's okay, because I know him. And well, that's see, Then there you go. That was a perfect usage, mm -hmm. a perfect asking, a perfect casting yeah. for Medusa. Yeah. Perfect. So so there you go, guys. That's how that's how we use Medusa. Mm -hmm. That's how that's we how use her. She, yeah, yeah, I know. That was that was terrible. That's how she assists us. Yeah. I know that was bad of me to say that. I, I don't. I don't think that she minds. That was just funny. <laughs> you know, I'm picking on you. I've never gotten well, that type of know, energy from her where she's an uptight spirit or energy to work with. I've never got that from her. I, I'm not. I'm not finishing my sentences, and I'll tell you why. You know that video that the, the live thing that I did this morning with the uh, uh, I did the breakfast. Yes, I haven't seen it. You okay. got breakfast up. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. missed I, breakfast. Okay. You missed. Uh, what was it? <laughs> breakfast with Trina. Breakfast with Sunshine. What was it? I loved it. It was great. Just 
Yeah, breakfast with sunshine or something like that. So, so I'm having trouble finishing my sentences because my mind keeps going elsewhere. And here's why. In that video, I specifically said, we're making a roux. R-O-U is what I said. We're making a roux. R-O-U. After the video was over with, and I even posted this, my mother sent me an email. <laughs> it's spelled R-O-U-X, Trina. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm ha okay. So I don't use Medusa in using her energies. There, <laughs> my sentence is finished now. <laughs> I was just playing. Just don't forget oh, your exesness. No, <laughs> the minute I said it, I was like, "Oh no, that's not going to go over well." <laughs> and I don't mean with the people watching. I mean with yeah. So, so Miss Flower, what do you think about how we work with Medusa? I mean, well, I mean, now that I know that she is also Maat, I, I I have to do more research for myself and see how I connect with with everything. Um, what I know about uh, Maat is that she's all about truth and justice and things. Like, ooh, it's like singing my tune right now. Um, I think that's lovely. Um, but I can get back to about like working with different goddesses. Um, I guess that, you know, when it came to be that I have, I, I do, I work with three different goddesses. Um, Bridget would be my main goddess. And then probably after that would definitely be Bast and then um, Aphrodite. But it's like, I use them for different things in, in my life. So I always feel Bridget's presence with me and I've felt it ever since I was a little girl. Um, and then I guess for like different emotions for different things that I'm going through, um, you know, I've, I've have a really strong connection with cats and I don't know if you watched this video that I just did yesterday of me going to rainbow gardens and this cat is like on the other side of the nursery. This like a, a garden center. And I'm just like, well, Hey kitty kitty. And then all of a sudden this cat comes trotting to me. I've always had this like connection since I was a little girl to cats uh -huh. um, and that sort of like protective energy, if you will, that Bast has, you know, that sort of nurturing protective energy, uh, um, which also Bridget has at the same way. I mean, she's the protector of hearth and home and health and, um, you know, midwifery and all that other stuff. So then I also connect with Aphrodite, which again, love, like, all about the love. Look at the Beatles, the Beatles shirt. I'm serious. Um, so <laughs> I think that all of them are goddesses and I don't equate um, one feeling more or left out or all that other stuff. I don't put my human element on their feelings because I think that they're way above us. So I don't ever worry about that. I don't ever feel like anybody's feeling neglected or anything because they're goddesses and we are human and I think they got their shit together. I know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I like how you said that about that they're above us. Not so much like the um Christian gods above us, but they definitely I think ha have need more respect than you would just, you know, anything. And that was in, um, when I used to go up to the fellowship and they would have these groups and stuff that I would go to, that was one disagreement I had with one of the um, people there was that because she said they are not above us. They are equal to us. And I don't agree with that. I'm not saying that no. they're worshipped like uh, the Christian God is, is made to be, but I definitely think that they are a higher power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't agree that I'm on the same level as Hecate. No, I would no. never <laughs> try to assume that. Um, yeah, exactly. Can, I think it's so funny that we didn't even know each other, and we both worked with Hecate, and mm -hmm. I didn't even know that you worked with Medusa, and until I know. the things you know, and then you know, and, and you sent me this, and I was floored. I was, I was like. I oh thought you were going to message me and say, what the hell is this? And then I would have to explain to you why I felt like you needed it. But no, you, yes. it was like it, it was what it was supposed to be. Yeah. It's just supposed to be. She says that to me all the time, Raven. It's just supposed to be. 
I have to apologize. My oldest daughter came in, and because I can't see myself, I'm, I'm really just looking at it right now. It's like a all is what's happening. So my daughter came in, and she's like, "Can me? What's going on? Okay, now my husband's calling me. What the hell? It's just, okay. everybody wants a piece of me right now. Hold on. <laughs> everybody wants a piece of me. So I can't see anybody. So I'm just talking to this black screen, and she comes in, and she's like, "Are you okay? What's wrong? With you? What? I'm having tef- technical difficulties. Retrograde. <laughs> September 22nd. Can't get here fast enough." <laughs> That's funny. I see you just fine. Maybe you need to touch around on the screen like I did and try to figure out. See, now I can't even I'll hear you. Uh, see, as soon as you oh, said that, shit. she was gone, Trina. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you, hit your mute. you hit your mute. You hit your mute. Mute. Turn off your. No. <gasps> she just left. We have to invite her back in. Okay. I know how to do this now. I'm glad you do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which raven is it? There's so many ravens on here. Flower. It's, I'm not seeing a flower. I know it's flower, but I don't see it. I don't want to have to call Junior. Oh, there it is. Okay. I found it. I hope this is the right one. <laughs> who, who, who are you? <laughs> it has a stack of books by it. Oh, there she is. No. Was. There you <gasps> are. There she is. Oh my God. Thank goodness. I was about to invite a bunch of ravens in to find you. What? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a murder I was. <laughs> can, can, can you see us now? See you now. Excellent. Okay, good. Better. Now, this is what I was showing. Oh, yes. I saw that when I got to visit you. That, oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She stays close to me, very close. Yes, yes. I also have her up in my bedroom, but we won't go there. <laughs> She's in my bedroom right now. <laughs> the breathing okay. is tootsie. Okay. Um, this one was a good one, and this was probably something that y'all can really help with is um, people who don't resonate with their zodiac sign, and they resonate with another one. And... Why did they ask that question? Why did I write that down? But they don't resonate with their zodiac yeah, sign? Yeah, let's say like I'm Capricorn, but I felt more like I was a Cancer, which I am by no means a Cancer. But let's just say I felt like I connected more with um, the Cancer sign. And I guess they're trying to figure I didn't write the whole thing has, down. Has that person checked to see what their moon sign is? That's what I was no. going to say. What is, what is their moon, um, sun, and rising? Like I have no going? doubt that they're going to be watching this video because I do remember that they comment on a lot of videos. So, okay, well then here's here's what I would recommend first. Um, first, understand that your zodiac sign has a polar opposite. Okay, so you may not exactly. There you go. You may not resonate with what the typical aspects are of your zodiac sign. You may be a polar opposite, and I can give you a. I, I, I can speak about this okay. from experience, okay? My first husband was born on October 31st. He was a Halloween baby. He is a dick. Okay? There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, my I came back to you saying dick. Husband, that's all I heard. <laughs> my, cur- yeah. my current husband, Alexander, also born on October 31st. He is a polar opposite of Scorpio, of my first husband. Has the exact same birth date around the same time, but he is a polar opposite. Now, first check into that. If that's not what it is, check into your moon sign. Now, you can go on Google and you can type in, what is my moon sign slash astrology? It will bring up a calculator that you can put in your day of birth, uh, year of birth, and time of birth, and the country or the state where you live. That will give you what your moon sign is, and you can do a little bit of research into your moon sign to see if that's something that you relate to more. Now, to say that I'm an Aries, I don't feel like an Aries, I feel more like a Libra. I don't understand that, so I guess... Somebody else would have to address that one. 
I think that you covered it. I didn't write the whole thing yeah. down because you could see it's, that I just stopped mid-writing. Yeah, it's not a specific address, Tequila. It's just, uh, what is my moon sign? Sorry. Just what is my moon sign? And I said slash, uh, slash astrology because sometimes if you put in what is my moon sign, you're going to get people, you know, showing their asses out car windows. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wonder if my ass is yeah. up from when we were in Salem when I mooned that preacher son. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. I wish I was there with you. That looked like a lot of fun. We had, we did have so, fun. Okay, yeah. so there go, that answers that. And I'm sorry I didn't write the whole thing down. Well, I just picked up this book at half price. I don't know if you can see it. Y'all see it good? Relationship. Do it yourself. Relationship astrology. Cool. And I'm, it goes through, like, all this business. And some of this stuff I can't even understand. But... Oh, so I'm not the only one that has trouble with astrology. Yeah, I got I got troubles. But look at this. Can you see that? Gemini rising. Yes. Okay, so it gives you the relationship of Gemini.